Hi everyone, for today's video, we're going to be setting up this Helium Outdoor Mobile Hotspot. So this is going to expand the Helium coverage and basically this will use your Wi-Fi network to share coverage to the other Helium users. And every time a Helium user connects to your hotspot and use data, Helium will give you 50 cents per gigabyte of data. Okay, so I already have five users in my household and I'm hoping that there are a few more around my area because in my area we have a public park right in front of my house and I also have a hospital and a private school close to my house plus a couple of bus stops around my area. So according to the Helium Planner, I don't really have much uh, coverage in this area but I'm hoping that in the future that is going to change. So if you have not seen my other video where I showed you how you can get a free cell phone service, then I encourage you to watch that as well. I'm going to put that link on the description below. And basically that Helium plan where you can get free cell phone service plus this one is going to guarantee you that you'll never have to pay for your cell phone plan. Plus you have a chance to earn more money by sharing your Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in it and let us set it up. So in the box, you're going to see you're going to see a serial number and a QR code. So you may want to keep this thing just in case you need to set up your hotspot again, uh, because your hotspot is going to be installed into your roof. So you don't want to keep going up there every time you have an issue. OK, so let me go ahead and open this. So if you look here, you have an information pamphlet. So that's, well, basically you just have to scan this to get started. And I'm not sure what this is. It's probably just a sticker or in, an iron on. Right here you have some connector brackets so that you can install this into a pole. And this is the actual mounting bracket. It kind of looks like plastic, but this is actually metal. And you can install this into your wall, or you have this right here, so you can install it into a pole as well. So that one, plus this one right here, so you can adjust the angle. If you look right here, I'm not sure you can see that you have zero degree up to 30 degrees. So you can point your device straight up or you can point it down a little, okay? It also comes with some installation screws plus some rubber bushing right here. And then this is your actual hotspot. So let me go remove that in the bag. So if you look at the back of your hotspot, you'll have the QR code right here and also your serial number right here. And if you look here, you'll have your Ethernet port. This is also going to provide power to your hotspot. And this is just uh, light indicators. Okay, so this thing only comes with your outdoor hotspot. Your mounting bracket. Some more brackets right here. You have the screws. Plus you have this uh, connector bushings. And this is going to be right here. This is going to protect your Ethernet cable from getting wet, okay? And what's missing here is the Ethernet cable. So basically, you need to provide your own Ethernet cable. So it requires a CAT6 uh, cable. And also, you're going to need a PoE injector. So 
I got this thing from Amazon. This is about $10 or $15. And that's all you need. Okay, so to set this up, what you'll need is your PoE injector. You're going to need your Cat6 Ethernet cable. And also you're going to need your Android phone with Android 11 or higher or an iPhone with OS 14 and higher. Okay, so I have an Android phone right here and we're going to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is plug in your data cable into your PoE injector. So right here, you'll see that you'll have data in and data out. So I'm going to plug in the cable from my router to the data in. And I'm going to plug in another cable to the data out. And from data out, I'm going to plug it into the hotspot right here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and plug it in here. And you just have to wait. This is going to start updating the firmware. So you just have to wait until this thing becomes solid blue. It'll take at least one minute before this will start blinking blue. There you go. And then you just wait until it turns solid blue because basically right now what it's doing is it is updating its firmware. Okay. So let's go wait until it gets, until it turns solid blue. Okay. So looks like we have a solid connection now. Okay. So it blinked again. So just give it some time. And what I'll do is I'll just leave it like this so we can see the progression of the firmware update. And while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and install the Helio Mobile Builder in our phone. So let me go to my Play Store. And now let's go search for Helio Mobile Builder. And let's that's going to be the blue icon. And let's install this thing. See right now it turns off again. So I guess once you get the solid blue, then you want to wait, give it at least a minute and make sure that the light doesn't change anymore. Okay. So once we get the Helium Builder, I'm just going to open this thing. And if you already have a Helium mobile account, which I do, I just have to log in using my account on this one. I just look at the install guide and basically it tells you that this is going to blink and then turn to solid blue a couple of times as it updates the firmware and that will take a few minutes and once it turns solid green and did not change again then you can start with your phone setup. Okay so the hotspot has been solid blue now for over two minutes so now we're going to start uh, setting it up in our app. So. After you download the app, you just click and open it. And you can see right now, this is the home screen. It tells you if you have any other hotspots already deployed, but this is gonna be my first one. So I'll just click on deploy. And here I'll select the hotspot that I have. So for me, I have the outdoor hotspot. So I'm gonna click that. And it says here to keep your box, you'll need to use the QR code in the box. So you have the QR code in the box, but you also have a QR code on the back of your hotspot but they advise that you keep the QR code as well so that if you need to set it up again or if you need to uh, fix any issue in the future you don't want to go up in the roof but you can always go to the uh, picture or the box that you have okay so here this is how you face the users so the signal for this hotspot actually goes 120 degree and it reaches 800 feet so you want to face your user and also you want to tilt it down a little if you have an obstacle like this okay so let's go ahead and just click i understand and it says connect the power connect the powered ethernet which we already did and it says the status light is solid blue so now you just want to scan the qr code in your hotspot or the QR code from the box. Okay, so I'm going to just scan it from here. The 
Okay, it says Helium Builder app wants to use a temporary Wi-Fi network to connect to, connect to your device. So that's going to be Helium 3735. So you want to make sure that you have the Wi-Fi available for you okay so if you don't if you have the wi-fi turned off or you, if you have airplane mode on then you're not going to be able to do this so you want to make sure your wi-fi icon is up so you can start connecting to the helium wi-fi so just click connect so this thing is going to switch your wi-fi from your home wi-fi to the helium wi-fi and here it's asking you if this is your location. I'll say that looks correct. And I'm gonna update the height. So once I put this up in the roof, that's gonna be about 35 feet. And aim your phone to the same direction as the face of the hotspot. So this thing is going to be around 45. That's when I have set my helium planner so that's where i'm supposed to get the most reward okay so register your hotspot faithful sand millipede that's going to be the name of my hotspot that's the direction and height and the wallet address so i'll just say register now so registering hotspot can take up to 15 minutes so let me just put the phone down and we'll come back again after 15 minutes Okay, so it took about three minutes. It says the hotspot is now deployed. And it says that it might take up to 48 hours for the hotspot to start earning mobile rewards and appear in the mobile in the Helium Mobile Coverage Planner. So this is gonna be the name of my hotspot, and I can start viewing it on the explorer if it's already showing. If not, then I'll have to wait up to 48 hours. Okay. So it looks like it is now showing up so let's go ahead and check my wi-fi connection see if i can connect to it now so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to forget my so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to forget my home wi-fi and we'll see if it will connect automatically to the helium hotspot okay so just wanted to show you this one of my phone would not connect directly to helium so if i click on helium it's actually asking for password information but this is the phone that had an issue before with uh the helium sim card so i guess i'm gonna need to contact support on this one so what i'll do is i'll update the description below um and uh, let you know how um, we're able to going to fix this after i contact the support but let me show you all of my other phone is actually now connected to helium right there so i what i did is i just forget my old network and all the phones now are connected to helium so this is my son's phone this is another phone we have here at home and another one right here so let's go ahead and see how fast our connection speed here so let me go look go to the speed test and let's do a speed test right now connected to helium network So this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max.
Okay, so for iPhone 12 Pro Max, we have 87.9 download and 14.4 upload. Let me go ahead and connect this back to our regular network. Okay, so now it's connected to our router and let's go ahead and test it. So I got 127 download and 21 upload. So it looks like the phone connected directly to our router is a little bit faster than Helium, but let's go ahead and check the other phones as well. So this is an iPhone 14 connected to Helium network. Okay, so iPhone 14 connected to Helium Network. It's 97.8 download and 8.55 upload. Okay, so now I connected it back to our uh, home network. Let's see if there's gonna be any difference. So 97.8 and 8.55 with Helium. Now let's test it with my home network. Okay, for iPhone 14, I got a 129.5 download and 1.47 upload. Okay, so let's check it with my iPhone 7. iPhone 7 right now connected to the Helium network iPhone 7 connected to the Helium network is 109 download and 22.9 upload. Let me go connect this to our home network. Connected to our home network, I got 104 download and 1.24 upload speed. Now let's go and check it on my Moto G. This is a Moto G with a, an Android 10. Oh, with an Android 11. So let's go do a speed test here. Okay, so I got 72.5 download and 24 upload. Let's go switch to our home network. Okay, so for the home network, I got 96.2 download and 0.8 upload. So it looks like um, it performs better on my home network, but the speed actually is fast. It's like good enough for this uh, hotspot. So I'm going to switch all my devices now to use the Helium hotspot so that I can also start earning while I'm using the internet. And then I'm gonna be installing this into the roof when I got chance, maybe by the end of the week. And hopefully there are other Helium users out there that can connect to my hotspot. And I hope that you found this video helpful to you. If it does, please help my channel by clicking the like and the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.